another chakra. Sarvata Bhadra chakra. Nakshatras have so, to me they're fun. All these chakras. Oh, yeah. Look at this chakra. Oh, north, <coughs> north, north, north or something? Yeah, north, east, west, south. This is a very fun one. This is called the all auspicious chakra. <laughs> the chakra of all good things. And it starts in the northeast. We see the letter A, ah, the A. The beginning of almost all alphabets, right? The alpha. And we have Kritika right there. You see Kritika right underneath the A? Mm -hmm. So here it's starting with Kritika because this is a spiritual, very, um, it's, a, it's a spiritual energy. It uses 28 nakshatras and it starts with Kritika. So we understand the all auspiciousness of this. Now in this, um, let's see. We'll take our time with this a little bit. Fill in your not fill in right underneath your planets. Underneath the each nakshatra, right in your planets. Oh, wow. Saturn is in what nakshatra right now? Pushya. Pushya. Okay. So from Pushya. Okay. Nox we go three different ways, and this is called Veda. This is where Saturn, which nakshatra is Saturn's piercing? Okay? And we go, and we follow all the way across, so he's piercing Jeshta. We go diagonally down, he's piercing Purva Falgun. And we go diagonally across, he's piercing Satabisha, right now. So if you have any natal planets in Satabisha, Jeshta, or Purva Falguni, they're being pierced by Saturn right now, mm -hmm. Saturn's transit. Okay? Mm -hmm. Anybody got anything there? I have Lugna yeah, there. Yeah. Lugna there. So your Lugna on an emotional level is being pierced by Saturn right there during the Saturn transit. Why, why, does it, why is that? I mean, Did you see the diagonal drishti? The diagonal of Vedha, the piercing, the... the now what happens is, if you have a special Tara there. Where is Saturn now? Oh, Saturn right now is in Pushya. No, so find Pushya. Pushya. He's no, she said Pushya. Saturn, Saturn right now. Okay. Yeah. okay, so go all the way across. What's he a hit? Jeshta. So Saturn's piercing Jeshta right now. So if you have something in Jeshta, Saturn's piercing it on an emotional level. It, then we go diagonally down. And it hits Purva Falguni. Oh, I see. Okay? So diagonal. Uh, even though it says it's three on the other chart, it says three. That, this is not Nakshatra oh. Drishti. This is different. Oh, okay. This is, this is where special? he's piercing. This is Vedha, not Drishti. Oh. This is special Sarvata Bhadra Vedha. If it was Saturn Drishti, Saturn would be liking. He wouldn't be hurting or helping. He'd just be liking that area. Okay, so we got Vedha. Okay. Vedha means he's, he's kicking that area. He's affecting. Where's Jupiter? Swati. Swati. So that means Ju Jupiter right now is also blessing Satabisha. So Satabisha is in a lot of activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Swati is also hitting Jeshta. Whew. Jeshta is a lot of activity. Mm -hmm. And it's also hitting Rohini right now. Yeah. So our moon Rohinis are getting the blessing right now mm -hmm. of Jupiter. Karma. Karma nakshatra is in Rohini? In Rohini yeah. Then that means yeah. career, then that means do some Jupiter mantras and Jupiter is going to improve career reality. Mm -hmm. so does that mean a day change of job or something? Or no, it just means there's a lot of, it means there's support there. What's Jupiter do? Jupiter supports, right? Yeah. So it means right now with that transit of Jupiter in the, only through Swati. Once he leaves Swati, he's not aspecting Rohini right. anymore. So by aspecting Rohini, your karma nakshatra, he's supporting your mental ability to work and to manifest things in the workplace. So strengthen Jupiter a little bit and keep that, you know, to get that Veda fully active and he's blessing that karma nakshatra. It's a great time to start a new job because he's aspecting oh, it. Oh, perfect. Okay? Yeah. So this is nakshatra transits. A little tiny brief introduction. Yeah, Did you follow that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just wondering. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you get so, it on recording? Is this, is this on the paper? Um, I didn't have time to write this. Sanjay gave a big lecture.
two years ago, sorry, the Bhagavad Chakra, mm -hmm. <coughs> where he went really into this in marriage timing. Um, in Crux of Vedic Astrology, he goes into this as well. Did he get it? You just do this geometrically, how. right? Yeah. No, no, you're not counting. No, you're, no. You're just Verveda, like, Verveda this we're using. straight across, that one's only Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's Sarvatabhadra Chakra. So th this chakra is giving us the way to look. You know, it's set up in a way that we can see where the planets are affecting which nakshatra. Right. How do you know all this? Huh? How do you know all this? It's in the scriptures. <laughs> I know. He was only just studying since he was a little kid. Yeah, yeah this, it's, in the, it's in the scriptures. So. It's in his DNA. So, uh, the, so the fact that was. Jupiter is in Vedanta, oh, right? Amazing. Yeah. Is he right now? No, no. For oh, me. for you. For me. In which 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 nakshatra? In Swarthi. No. Revati. Revati. Wait a minute. In Revati. the last degree of Revati. Last degree of Revati. So, so does that mean that right now, because I'm having difficulty with birth and stuff? Well, that'd be your karma nakshatra. Okay. So that's the tenth from your moon. And if we're looking just natally, then it's just we're looking at nasargic significations, natural oh. significations. And it's just Jupiter. It's it's problems with husbands, problems with gurus, problem with children. Um, you don't have children or a husband, so there's no problems there. So it's showing just problems with gurus. Okay? Okay. And if you want to have children and a good husband, then some puja should be done for that. When we want to look at career stuff, then we look at the tenth, the karma nakshatra. The tenth of the moon. Tenth from the moon. From the moon, okay. Okay. So that's the next step on the Danishta. Yeah. Can you ex can you explain why it no, seems like times of no, nothing the fifteen ten tenths from her moon is Danishta? Ten from Swati, yeah. Oh, but what's her moon? What's your moon? My moon is a Swati. Your moon is Swati. Yeah. So no, nothing happened. Danishta. Okay, but you know what? Once once um once the moon moves into Vishaka. It's going to have Vedha and Danishta. Oh, that's only for two days, right? Yeah. Or even actually mean? just one day, right? Not the moon, when Jupiter. When Jupiter, Jupiter. Right, right. When right. Jupiter yeah. moves yeah. in. Yeah. When Jupiter moves into Vishaka. But at that, at Saturn also will move into Asclepia yeah. sometime. Yeah. And then again, it will oh, have Asclepia. Is it going to have... Yeah, have two <laughs> so there's a window of opportunity. So there's a window of opportunity yeah. there. Yeah. When? <laughs> Find when Jupiter enters Vishaka. He'll be aspecting your karma nakshatra. That's and you, your karma nakshatra, is your lovely nakshatra. Yes. Okay. Um, so that's, that's why I can't remember what the remedy I mentioned, uh, but I mentioned one remedy based on, on that fact. I can't remember the remedy now, but it's so many. But something I told you, recommended mantra or something like, was because, oh, a sound, a name. Name of business, I think? What was it? <laughs> is based wow. because your karma nakshatra is your lagna. Oh, right. And so I took the pot of your lagna because your pot of your lagna is also in your karma nakshatra. That's right. So you take it from the karma nakshatra. Yeah. Okay. And your lagna, both. Okay. Right. right. So I can activate both with one sound. Mm -hmm. So, oh, so retrograde planets yeah, have different effects over here? Yeah, just what it, wherever they are. Uh -huh. You see how there's three Vedas coming from? Yeah. It? The retrograde planet's going to be more affecting what's called the hind beta. Uh -huh. The beta that's going behind backwards. Uh -huh. yeah. Versus the beta going across, versus the beta going forward. Right. Okay? So when it starts moving direct, this Jupiter starts moving It's going to have more the front, the frontward moving yeah. beta. Okay. Yeah. Because it will have, at different uh, motions, it'll have sure more strength on each of those uh -huh. three. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and Sanjay, Sanjay in his Harvard the Bajra lecture <laughs> taught all the time. <laughs> so, Jupiter is Jupiter actually? Yes. yes. When does it go to So, Jupiter is in Swati and it's Ashwini. Is it Ashwini? It's Jupiter. Yeah, it will be okay. Is Jupiter transiting in Jesta, right? Because yeah. Jesta, Rohini, and Sadabisha. Is there the thing about why the 15 Rohini Nakshatra is called Rohini? Rohini Nakshatra Jupiter. You draw the line. Okay, I see it. Um, where was uh, Rahu? Rahu was <laughs> in Uttara Bhadra. Oh, with Ketu? Well, Ketu was going to be here. Uh, because I tried to figure it out oh, in Sarvata Bhadra chapter, Uttara and it Bhadra. doesn't. Yeah, they can't find a writer. Okay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, the Sarvata Bhadra chapter doesn't give it away. Mm 
<laughs> so you guys follow that? Yeah. Yeah. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it's totally. it incredible. Yeah. Incredible amount of information and timing and when you can really achieve things and when you need to just like wait a little bit to make that next step. Because you know, it's like someone I was I had lunch with this guy yesterday. Incredible business guy. And he he said 80% of businesses that start, if they're not fully geared to, and his he was talking about money, if they're not fully geared to making money, they fail. Wow, that's really true. So if 80% of businesses fail, what's going to keep you out of that 80%? <laughs> that's exactly what my, uh, my husband's accountant told me. He said, people look at these businesses and they seem really good. He just sees the, the chance of bankruptcy because he sees so many businesses that go under. 80%. So... We need to make sure that we hit the right time, that we hit those windows of opportunity to really get in there and be successful. Because there's so many, there's more malefics than there are benefits. Mm -hmm. So there's more chance of failing than there is succeeding. And you could call me pessimistic, but we see the numbers, 80%. That's a big one. That's, that's a pretty big chance of failure. Mm -hmm. You got a 20% chance of success. So let's find that window and, and jump through the right one. That's why life let's not jump through the wrong window and follow a few suffering. extra stories. Okay. Could you, could you say, so it's, the, it's when like Jupiter, a benign planet, is going, say, affecting the 10th? 10th what? The 10th. 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 Carbon oh, Okay. It's good for career. Area for career. And for money, it would be... Judges affecting well, it depends. It depends what the money's for and all that kind of stuff. You can well, read over. speculating. Over the, there's karma, samudrika, speculation. I mean, that you might want to use, you know, some pot, some pot. Nakshatra's not really used in, you know, because that's more Navtara based, but you'd want to use the second nakshatra in general. Okay. Um, you could use the karma nakshatra. You could also use the Abhisheka nakshatra, the coronation one. That shows you becoming a king. You want to avoid the Naitana. You want to avoid the bad ones, you know, okay. in that way. Okay. So for business or marriage, or is it better that both Jupiter and Saturn act like that, or only Jupiter? Jupiter's best, yeah. So Saturn provides sustainability also. In Rashi. In the Rashi, Drishti, in Rashi the getting the, the Drishti of both Saturn and Jupiter is good. Okay. In the nakshatras, Ju Saturn is not that. being why, as, why as why beneficial. Is this is your mind we're talking about. The Sarvata Bhadra chakra is your mind. No, no, no. Nakshatras are the mind. Nakshatras are the mind. Yeah, and it, this, is, this is all about auspiciousness. So in here, we're looking very much at auspicious grahas, as you know. But now, how would you use the, the Sarvada Bhadra Chakra for starting a business? Because you're having a, ma a t material way of using it. Let's move forward. Play with it a little bit. Maybe we'll have a full class on it where we just work on it. Okay. Okay. But this is how we observe the trends and how they're affecting us. Big thing. Not just the transit, but how they're affecting us. Okay. And in general... Um, I know Visti does, I do, Sanjay, you know, we use this always before we, uh, for m timing when the person gets married, mm -hmm. because you don't want to, you don't want the negative nakshatra transits happening when a person gets married. Okay, so this is like a must, like of your list of, of, of um, we're looking for your, your operational list of what to do. For personal for things. For personal things, okay, Yeah, right. for nakshatra based reality. Right. Would this be under the of this you can use this for Mahursa, mm -hmm. but you can also use this for Gochara, mm -hmm. watching transit mm -hmm. and how they're affecting you. So it's used for both. Okay, and it's also easiest to see the drishti in this. Right. That's why. Let's go to the next page.